Well, doctor, I know myself, along with many others, are very anxious to learn about prolotherapy. So why don't we start by you telling us what prolotherapy is? That's a good question. Prolotherapy, also called regenerative injection therapy, is a way of injecting an irritant solution into a tendon or ligament in order to cause a reparative inflammatory reaction that helps repair the tendon and relieves pain. How long has prolotherapy been used and how exactly does it work? Prolotherapy was first used by Dr. George S. Hackett and it was introduced to the AMA in 1955. And it's been used specifically mostly on the west coast of the United States and now it's coming towards the east coast and it's been progressing over the last 60 or 70 years. So Dr. Al, what are some of the most common uses of prolotherapy? Actually, some of the common uses for prolotherapy are tennis elbow, groin strains, sacroiliac instability, which is a common cause of lower back pain, uh, tendonitis of any kind in your wrist, in your ankle, in your knees. Doctor, I know plantar fasciitis is common among athletes. Is prolotherapy uh, a good option for that? Yes, it's actually excellent. I actually had a professional weightlifter who couldn't do the strongman competitions anymore because he couldn't pull a train or a truck because he had to use his feet. He came to me, he got three or four prolotherapy injections, and he's now in, back in competition again. Wonderful. What about tendonitis? Well, there's a lot of misconceptions about tendonitis. Everyone thinks that tendonitis is an inflammatory process, but in reality, over 90% of the diagnosis of tendonitis is actually uh, a damaged tendon and there's no inflammatory reaction going on. Matter of fact, what prolotherapy does is try to create an inflammatory reaction to reignite it so that the healing process starts all over again. So when classically we've treated these conditions with cortisone injections, non anti-inflammatories and such. And usually what happens is you get better for a week or two and then the pain comes back again. That's because the anti-inflammatories have only masked the injury. And what's really needed is to stop the anti-inflammatories, treat it with prolotherapy, and incite a new healing process, i.e. the inflammatory reaction, which will start for the, the tendons to heal.